Hi, welcome to the Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff the Gamesplainer and today I'm Gamesplaining Athenium Mystic Library. So in the game of Athenium Mystic Library, there are five rounds. You have six cards, so one of those cards is not going to get played. At which point you are halfway through the game, we redeal everyone a level B card and we go again for another five. So it's ten rounds total. What you're attempting to do is fill up your bookshelf with books. It's quite important to understand what the scoring is at the end of the game, so you can work towards that. The first thing that will get scored is your favourite subject. Your favourite subject is shown on your shelf on the top right, and it's basically talking about a book colour. And the way that works is that is worth nothing, but having two of the same coloured book next to each other is worth two points. Having a third one will gain you another point, a fourth one there, or there would gain you another point. Or there would be fine as well. If this one was here, I'll talk about the placement books in a moment, that is not legal. But if it was there, this one wouldn't get any points. It needs to be orthogonally adjacent to others of the same colour. The next thing that we'll score is filled up compartments. So if you completely fill this compartment up, it's going to get you six points. If you completely fill this compartment, it will only get you two points. The third thing is candles. Candles will come out of this bag. So if you've placed a candle, I'll talk about how to get these in a moment. If you've placed a candle there, that one's worth three points. One above here would be two. One above there would be worth one. There are extra compartments. If you can get candles above that spot, it's worth four points. And here is worth two. And then each magic wand that's in your possession is worth another point at the end of the game. So what are you actually trying to achieve? other than those points. You are trying to make your shelves show these combinations of books. So if it's a card like this, you're looking for a pink, black, green, and purple book in that order, and it must be in this section of your shelving system. Or, and, either way, you could go for both of them, you're looking for this combination in that particular order, in the top left position. This one can be anywhere on your shelf, but needs to be in the same shelving unit. So that one isn't going to be on these any of these three spots. It must be on one of those two. If you have a card like this, you're looking for any books to be on each end of those particular positions, but it doesn't matter which book. Gray is a any color book. Now the issue is that each round all of these cards are going to get older. So if you achieve one of them, so for example, he's achieved this one because he's got that exact combination, be aware that that is not fulfilling the combination. So he's achieved that, he'll put one of his wands on there and then he would take the six points straight away. What's gonna happen is these will get aged off the board. When this one gets delivered off the board, the wand goes back to the center. But it stays there to show that you've got that achievement. Any number of players can get each card, so there's nothing stopping multiple players from getting the same card. Just be aware of the aging thing. So if you're going after this, but you can't get that in the first turn, that card is going to age off the board at the end of the very first turn, which is one card only. Other things to bear in mind is when you're adding books into your shelving system, you cannot just throw a book there. It must be against the wall or against another book. You cannot put a book there, there, or there. Each book in the next level up must be against a wall or another book and must have a book underneath it. So if that's what it looks like, this would not be legal. Now you notice me pushing these little things around. These guys are little spiders. What happens is once you have completely filled up a area, the spider comes off that location and you get a bonus. The bonus for a spider is marked up here on the board, but it's either one wand or take something out of the bag, which they're double-sided by the way, so you'll get to choose which side you wish to use, or take a book of any color that you wish, or take one of these. When you take one of these, you can only get two total, so it'll either go on this side or this side of your own shelving system, and a new spider gets added to that as well when you add that in. That symbol is for these guys as well. That is obviously a couple of books. You can put them anywhere you like. That is legal. You obviously could not put that up the top, but putting it there would be perfectly legal. This symbol allows you to move four books. 
which means that if this guy was purple, he's not, but if he happened to be purple, he might wish to move this book down here. So trading two books. Notice these ones are worth two because they're stuck together. Uh, you don't score these during the game, you only score them at the end because of that very movement. Now, notice this tile had a picture of four books on. Some of them have different numbers, so three or two books. Some of these tiles have that symbol, which is just grab a wand. Some of the tiles have this symbol or colored books, so that is a book of any color that you wish. The other symbol that you may come across is that one. Wherever you see that symbol, that's a number of points added to the particular player. Now, the way the game actually plays is you'll be looking at a hand of cards. You will play one of the cards. So if I played this one, what I am going to get is all the stuff at the bottom. So in this case, he would get a wand and be able to move two of his books around. What's at the top is the player on your right is going to get two points. The player on the left is going to get a pink book. Everyone's going to play that down. So you will gain the stuff that's at the top of the people next to you as well. If you're in a two player game, the other player gets both of the things on the top. Once you have played your card, that goes to a discard and the cards then get passed clockwise around the table. On the second half of the game, they're going the opposite direction. And that goes until you have all played five cards, so you'll have one card left to pass. That one just gets discarded. And then we go on to the second half of the game, which is deal another six of them to every player and go for another five rounds. And that, in essence, is the game. I'm going to leave it there. Please go ahead and watch my game play to get a feel for how the game actually plays. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you wish to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.